Hey guys, it's Alex and today is a bit of my final fresh impression. I'm gonna do a fresh impression on the Beauty Burner Bounce Long Range Foundation. This is what it looks like. I think it was originally $70, but I got it at Marshalls for $13. So I'm gonna do a fresh impression on this so I'm gonna apply it and show you guys how it applies, how it wears, how it looks on the skin, because this was supposed to be long wearing and I kind of want to test that out to see how long I can wear it and if it still looks good after it's been worn out. Also, I'm gonna shade 160W. I think there's like 40 or 30 shades of the shade i don't even know if it's gonna match me because i've not swatched it it's not even open all right so this is a liquid whip long grain foundation okay this is what it looks like also this is the shade 160 like i said i think there's three shades also i popped it up on the website there is four shades if you guys were wondering i don't even know if this is gonna match just because i couldn't swatch it and from this little like little thing i can even tell if that's like my color I'm not going to be this is what it looks like and then on the back it just kind of tells you a little bit more so it's supposed to be a full coverage reddish finish i don't really think i'm saying that right it's also supposed to be non-dewy and grease and then you can also layer it from a medium to full coverage i'm gonna see if it's full coverage because i really need full coverage right now because my skin does not like me right now and then on the website i said that it's vegan free gluten free vegan and use it with sponges and brushes i'm probably going to use a sponge just because that's how i apply my foundation um there's also supposed to be other acid in it and then it's rich with a white birch extract so yeah this is what the website looks like on the website it says it's 40 dollars, but then i've seen online that's supposed to be retail for 70 dollars but i got mine for 13 dollars. yeah this is what it looks like i know this is kind of old i think this came out like two or three years ago and i'm just now doing it i've been meaning to film this first impression for a while so if you guys want to see a first impression on this just keep on watching but yeah before i hop in make sure you guys subscribe and give it a thumbs up and let's hop right in all right so let's get started so currently i'm wearing no makeup at all i just have moisturizer and under eye cream but yeah this is how my skin looks like before also i looked online on the shade names so like i said i got one at 60 w so i looked online of like what the undertone is so for, for 160 it says it's light peach i don't know if you can tell that but my shade is light peach i don't even know that's gonna match just because i don't know my undertone um but yeah this is what it looks like so i'm gonna open it i'm really sorry because the bottle is supposed to be like very interesting because you're supposed to like tilt it and you're supposed to pump it so cool and there's also like a lock back here that you like switch and then you like pump it or like, and you like pump it right here and the products supposed to kind of on here that is so cool that's actually a really nice bottle also like your foundation's here so it's not on the back of my hand because i always put my foundation in the back of my hand so your foundation comes here i feel like this could get really dirty really easily just put all the bacteria on it but you just like pump it out right here and now the product comes out here i'm really excited because i've heard really good reviews on it but yeah this is what it looks like so right now i have a new makeup on and so i'm probably going to split my face on to no primer and no primer to see if it applies different with a primer and no primer the primer that i'm going to use i'm probably going to put the primer on this side just because i want to see if the foundation applies look different with primer so i'm just going to apply primer on this side, this is the Maybelline Mask Prime. I've actually used this in a video. I actually really like it, so I'm just going to apply the primer to this side of my face. Also, I have a dry screen, you guys were wondering, and then I have a little bit of like acne and stuff, so I'm going to see if it covers up my acne. I'm also going to wear it pretty much all day just because it's supposed to be long wearing, and I really want to see how it holds up all day. I usually don't wear foundations all day. Um, so I'm going to see how long I can wear it to see if it gets a little bit like separating and stuff. So I'm just going to apply this primer to this side. Alright, so I'll be ready to finally test this out. It's actually currently locked right now. So I'm going to turn it and unlock it and then you just like pump. Well, there we go. I don't know how much I need. I'm probably going to do a couple of pumps just to get it like out. And then I guess I'm just going to use my hands. I'm gonna first start off with the primer side. Does that match? Does that match? I feel like it's a little bit orangey on my skin, but I'm just gonna start on the primer side and just apply this to the primer side. It actually doesn't really look that bad. I feel like it's not gonna match, but we'll roll with it. I'm just gonna apply it to this side and then I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and blend it out. It doesn't really look that bad. I don't even know if you can tell on the camera, but 
it looks like it matches on camera, but in reality, it looks a little orangey, but it's definitely like full coverage, like, it's definitely full coverage. Also, you can like build it up from a medium coverage to like a full coverage, which I really want to do because I love full coverage. You, yeah, you definitely need to blend it down in there because it does not match. But look at that. That covered up my redness. That covered up my like little scars down here. It's so cool. And this is just on the primer side. I really want to know how it blends on the no primer side. But over the primer, it looks really good. I'm obsessed. Look how flawless that looks it looks like it matches but for my neck it doesn't really look a little bit orangey i don't know if you can tell on the camera but i would definitely need to blend it down my neck so i'm just going to take my beauty blender and take the product off of the bottle and just blend it down my neck on the side all right so i'm just going to do another like pump or two so now i'm gonna apply it to the no primer side look at the difference of uh, look at my under eyes are so really red all these pimples i really want to see if it covers it because look at this that is definitely definitely full coverage i love full coverage and it's my beauty blender i'm just gonna blend it out let's see if they cover the pimples mm -hmm, not bad It does not look cakey at all. It actually looks really good. Even on the nose, it looks really good. It just looks flawless overall, but I'm definitely just gonna be needing it to blend it down my neck because it doesn't really match. The under eyes are supposed to be a light peach. It kind of matches. I feel like on this lighting, it does, but I don't even know how it looks on flash. I know that I'll probably take pictures right here. It looks so currently 11 right now so i'll probably come back around like 11 tonight to see how it holds up i'm probably gonna wait for 12 hours just to see how it holds up because it's supposed to be long but right now i kind of want to test that out to the max i'll probably come throughout the day to give you guys an update because now it is looking like i have not put concealer on or no powder this is how it looks it actually looks really good i'm obsessed with this look how good that looks all right, so I'm all done applying it and blending it out. This is how it's looking like. This is in a natural lighting. So this is how the foundation looks like really close up. I do have my camera, so it's probably a little bit more better quality. You can actually see how my skin looks. There is a little bit of redness pinking right here, but look at my under eyes. The redness is gone. On my nose, the redness is gone. Actually, it does not look that bad. I definitely need to set it because it's starting to crease under my eyes and on my eyelids but yeah, i'm gonna go do my makeup and i'll be back i'll probably do this for 12 hours like i said just because it's possibly a long way and i want to test it out but yeah, this is how it's looking like with no concealer no powder or nothing this is how it looks like on my skin so i'm gonna do my makeup i'll probably i'll probably update you guys throughout the day to show you guys how the foundation is holding up so i'm about to go do my makeup and i'll be right back when i'm done with makeup but this is how it's Looking like so far, this is definitely full coverage. Like, it looks really good. So, I'm gonna do my makeup and I'll be right back. Alright, so I just finished up on my makeup, and this is how my makeup is looking like for today. This is how the foundation is looking like under my makeup. It actually looks really like flawless. It's 11 40 right now, so I'll probably come back around like 2 3 o'clock to see how the foundation is looking like. But, this is how the foundation is it looking like it is a little bit separated like in between my noses right here but a lot of foundations do but overall it looks really good but even on the forehead there is like a little bit of creasing with the lines but that's usually normal for me for foundations but yeah actually it looks really good like it looks like my skin is like completely clear because like it covered all of my acne and all of my arena so i'll probably come back around like three yeah, this is how the makeup is looking like. Actually, it still looks really flawless. Also, I didn't set my foundation. I usually do, but I did not set it because I want to see how it stays like all day by itself. But yeah, this is how 
my makeup is looking like right now all right so this two o'clock i've been wearing this foundation the past like four hours i put it on around like 11 30 and now it's two so this is how the foundation is a look like after wearing it for four hours i've been forehead lines are still there the nose you can definitely tell that it's separated but it was like that when i applied it and then the chin it kind of came off because i was just eating amazing um but yeah this is how the foundation is looking like after like four hours it actually still really looks really good so it looks really flawless and stuff so this is what it looks like after four hours i am obsessed with this foundation i'm probably gonna wear it more but i'll probably be back around like six or five to check you guys in yeah this is how the foundation is looking like and then also around like my lips right here it's kind of creasing a little bit not really on this side, but like right here where I talk, it's a little bit creasing. Yeah, this is how the foundation is looking like, so I'll probably be back around like 5 or 6, but yeah. Alright, so this look like it's actually 6 or 2 right now. This foundation has been on my skin for like 5 or 6 hours, and this is how it's looking like. This has been sitting on my skin for past like 5 hours. It still looks the same, it still looks really flawless. There is a little bit of creasiness around like the smile lines. My chin, it's completely gone. The forehead lines are still there. But it's been on my skin for like five or six hours and it still looks really good. Just it looks weird on my chin because it's completely off of my chin. Yeah, this is how it's looking like. It's been on my skin for the past like five or six hours. It still looks really flawless and there's smudginess. There's no like separation. Nothing like even on my nose with my pores, it still looks really good. This is like the primer side and this is the no primer side. There's literally no difference of like how I apply or how it's wearing. It still looks the same. On both sides but this is how it's looking like so it still looks like right now i'll probably come back around like eight or nine and then i'll probably update you guys last at like 11 so it's been on for completely 12 hours but this is hour six right now it's actually looking really good also i took instagram pictures i'll probably put them right here and it still looks really good on camera and also on like pictures but yeah this is how it's looking like it's a little bit like oily but i think that's just like my natural skin that's oily it's usually not oily as much but i was in the sun so it's a little bit like doing this that might be from the foundation or my like powder but yeah this is how it's looking like after six hours still looks really flawless it doesn't really sink into like the pores or like my acne scars or like my forehead lines it does a little bit but it's like normal i don't really care about that this is how it's looking like so again i'll probably come around like eight and nine but this is hour six and it still looks really good all right so it is night life this foundation has been on my skin for the past 10 hours this is how it is looking like literally after 10 hours of wearing this foundation it still looks flawless on stuff on my chin it's you can probably tell that it's completely like rimmed off and then on my tip of my nose it's gone but literally been wearing this for 10 hours it still looks the same it still looks really good like if i went out right now it wouldn't look that bad it doesn't feel like heavy or sticky or greasy like it looks a little bit greasy but i am sitting in front of a lamp right now but look it still looks really flawless it has not separated on none of my spots like this it literally still looks the same from like when i last talked to you guys around like four and two it still looks the same it still looks really flawless and just my chin is like completely gone but it still looks really good. After like 10 hours, it still looks really good. Like, I'm really impressed that it's long wearing. Because I usually don't wear my foundations this long. Usually by now, my makeup's already off. But yeah, it's looking really good. Like, I'm really impressed. I'm going to try it a couple more times just because I wanted to test it out more. Because I really like it. Maybe I'll get a different shade that actually matches. I feel like it doesn't really, like, match that well. But it's not really that bad of a matching violet contour and powder. I'm probably going to use it a couple more times. But it looks really good. I feel like if I am going to be wearing makeup all day, I can probably wear this because it's been 10 hours. And this is how it's looking like somewhere and I had to wear makeup all day or something this I would wear. But like after 10 hours of wearing this, I have not touched it up. I have not set it. Like literally have not messed with it since I put it on this morning. And it looks really good. So I'll probably come back around like 11 or 12 just because I'm probably going to do my makeup off in a couple hours. And I kind of want to test it out to 12 hours. But I have another 2 hours and now this is at 10 hour mark. It still looks really full. So I'll probably be back in like 2 hours. So yeah. Alright so it's 11 o'clock and, and I literally applied this foundation at 11 or 2 this morning. And now it's 11 30 at night. This foundation has literally been on my skin for 12 hours. And this is how it's looking like also in front of it. Late. But it's literally 11 o'clock at night. I'm so ready for bed. But this foundation has literally been on my skin for 12 hours. 
And this is how it's looking like after 12 hours of wearing it. Like, there's literally no difference on stuff on my chin. You can definitely tell it's like off my chin, but I was eating and stuff. Yeah, this is how the final looks after 12 hours. It literally still looks the same. I did not do no touch up. There's no smudging. There's no creasing. Like, literally after 12 hours, this is how it's looking like. It looks really flawless in my opinion. I'm literally so obsessed with this foundation. Yeah, I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys want more first impression on different foundation, let me know what foundation you guys want me to try next. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.